Hi, this is Mark from MH Race Engines. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps on setting your ignition timing using the FuelTech 450 controller. The same steps should be taken whether you're using the 450 through the 600. In order to set your ignition timing properly, you're going to need a timing light and an ignition test wire. You can use a normal spark plug wire modified, or you can get something like I have in this video. You can use an advanced timing light or just a plain regular timing light with no electronics, which usually have better results. In this photo, you can see a Honda K-Series crank pulley. There are four marks you're looking for. The one furthest away would be top dead center, followed by three marks which are close to each other, which one was 14 degrees before top dead center, 16 would be the next, and then 18. You would sync your timing with the triangle arrow that's on the timing cover. This video shows a setup that I use when I'm syncing ignition timing. I have my lead wire that's connected to the spark plug, which then goes in the coil. When you're using your timing light, some of them have an arrow which points towards the spark plug. You need to make sure that you're pointing it that way. To set the ignition timing, you would go up to the toolbar. Underneath the TPS, you'll see ignition. I usually set it to custom, 16 degrees, then I start the engine. Once the engine's stable, you should be able to see the light flashing with your timing light. On this specific engine, the timing to get set at 16 degrees was 335. So the larger the number retards the timing, the lower the number would advance it. Once you find the number that works for your vehicle, you would rev the engine while it's still locked to make sure the timing doesn't drift. And if everything's good, you just hit save and it will tell you the ignition timing was calibrated. Then you write to the ECU and that's all.